Hello friends, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another beginner-friendly song tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be revamping my lesson, breaking down my approach to playing Bob Marley's 1980 classic, Redemption Song. So this tune has it all. It's got a recognizable riff, essential chords, and also very useful strumming patterns that'll help take you to the intermediate level. So we're going to get started with a full demonstration of the tune. I invite you to follow along using my chord sheet and my tab at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Let's get started. One, two, three, four. Old pirates, yes, they robbed by sold out to the merchant ship. Minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit, but my hands were made strong by the end of the Almighty. We forward this generation triumphantly. Won't you help to sing? These songs of freedom is all I ever have. Redemption songs, redemption songs. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery, cause none but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets While we stand aside and look Some say it's just a part of it We've got to fulfill the book Won't you help to see these songs of freedom is all I ever had. Redemption songs, redemption songs, redemption songs. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery Cause none but ourselves can free our minds Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets While we stand aside and look Some say it's just a part of it Got to fulfill the book. Won't you help to sing these songs of freedom? Cause all I ever had redemption songs. Cause all I ever had redemption songs. Songs of freedom, these songs of freedom. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. We're in standard tuning, the key of G major. So I'm going to get started showing you how to play this very recognizable riff in its most basic form. And then we're going to add in a very subtle hammer-on technique to some of the notes uh, to further emulate Bob Marley's style. Okay, demonstrating the riff in its basic form, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, and... Okay, and that will 
repeat twice through. Okay, so that began with a measure representing G major. Low E string third fret, zero two on the A string, and then back to the third fret low E. All right, next, a measure representing the chord C major. All right, that was the third fret of the A string to the second fret of the D string, open D, and then to the second fret of the A string. Put those two measures together and we have. Okay, now onto measure number three, back to the G chord. All right, so that was the third fret low E string. Open A, second fret, open D. All right, then at the end of that measure, we have an optional note, the second fret of the A string. So you put it together and we have. All right, that gets you in the measure four. A walk back to the G chord. Third fret of the A string, second fret, open A, third fret of the low E string, back to G. Okay, put all that together and we have three, oh, two, three, three, two, oh, two, three, oh, two, oh, two, three, two, oh, three. Okay, now we're gonna make it sound a little bit more like the original track by adding in a very subtle hammer-on technique to specific notes. It'll sound like this. Okay, so in that first measure, we're hammering on to the second fret of the A string. It's a very fast little hammer on. Okay, and then kind of staccato at the end of it. Then on the second measure, we have the option to hammer on onto all of the fretted notes. Okay, though I, I tend to skip the last one. All right, then in measure number three, gonna hammer on to the second fret of the A string again before going to the open D string. All right, then we have the option of playing the second fret of the A string, and then using that note to hammer up to three. Okay, put all that together, and we have real slow. Okay, the second go around, I might skip that optional note. Just let that D string ring out and... Old pirates, yes they rob my... And that'll get me into the verse section. Okay, very good everybody. We have the intro section down. Now we're jumping into the verse section where we're gonna learn all the main chords that we need for the entire song. Taking this line by line, getting started with line number one, we're gonna have a G major, to E minor, to C major, to C slash B, a passing chord, taking you down to A minor. Okay, for the beginners out there, the G chord, third fret low E string, second fret of the A string, third fret of the high E string. We're gonna have that chord for one measure, four beats. Okay, then we have the E minor chord for measure. I'm grabbing the second fret of the A string, second fret of the D string. All right, then we have the C major chord, third fret A string, second fret of the D string, first fret of the B string. We're gonna have that for a half measure, two beats. All right, then to the C slash B, we're just gonna grab the second fret of the A string, leaving our index finger on the first fret of the B string. C slash B, we're gonna have that for two beats before moving to the A minor chord. Second fret D string, second fret G, and the first fret of the B string. Strumming from the A string down, we'll have this chord for a full measure, four beats. Okay, so you put that entire progression together and we have the G chord. One, two, three, E minor. One, two, three, four, the C, two, C slash B, A minor, two, three, four. Okay, now let's talk about strumming. 
you can get through the majority of this song with one basic strumming pattern, the calypso pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up. Though for the split measures like C major going to C slash B, you might want to just throw in some eighth note strums. Just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up as you go through. Okay, so applying that to line number one, we could have Old pirates, yes, they ride by Sold I to the merchant ships Okay, now there's a lot of variation that you can throw in. There's not really a set strumming pattern for this song. So I would say experiment and see if you can respond to the cadence of the lyrics. Now there's definitely one funky little thing I like to throw in here and there on specific chords. It sounds like this. Okay, so on chords like E minor and A minor, I like to throw in a dead stroke, an upstroke, and then two downstrokes. The first one's staccato, kind of pump in my hand, and then let it ring. So down, down, up, up, down, up, dead, up, down, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, dead, up, down, down. Very cool variation you can throw in intermittently. Okay, so now let's see if we can apply everything we just learned on line number one to the entire first verse. We're just going to repeat the same chord progression and strumming options, that basic strumming, uh, three times before we see a variation. But keep in mind, in the preceding verses, we're actually going to alternate between ending the progression on A minor and ending the progression on D major. Okay, but applying what we learned so far to the first verse, it's gonna sound like this. See if you can play along. One, two, three. Old pirates, yes, they rob by. Sold I to the merchant ships. Minutes after they took I from the bottom of this pit. But my hand was made strong. Now here's where it's different. He's gonna play the C major chord. He has the option of going to the C slash B and then going to the D major chord. So, the C chord. Triumphantly hold it out. Won't you help to sing? Then that'll get you into your chorus section. Now just as a very subtle detail, sometimes when he's at the very end of a verse, he'll skip the C slash B and just hold out the C chord for a full measure. So, triumphantly, won't you help to sing these songs of freedom? Okay, now we're ready to jump into this chorus section. Okay, very good everybody. You have the intro, you have the verse sections down. Now we're jumping into the chorus section. It's gonna be very simple. First, a demonstration. It's gonna sound like this. Coming from the D chord out of the verse. Won't you help to the G chord. Sing these songs of freedom. Cause all I ever had redemption songs, redemption songs. Okay, so really not too much to learn here. We already have the chords, we have the strumming patterns. We're gonna have a G major chord getting us started for one measure. Then a split measure between C major and D major two beats each, and we're gonna do that every single time we see a C major to D major change. So the G chord, down, down, up, up, down, up, the C, the D, just strumming down, up, down, up, and then back to the G chord, down, down, up, up, down, up. On to line number two, the C to D change. All right, then E minor for a measure, down, C to D again. Redemption G down up, up down up C D and G down up, up down up. Then you're gonna finish 
finish it up with this C to D change. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. All right, then that'll get you into verse number two, where, as I mentioned before, we have a slight difference from verse number one. We're going to be alternating back and forth between ending the progressions on A minor and D major line by line. So, emancipate yourselves from mental slavery, but none but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear for atomic energy. Here's the change. C, C slash B, D. How long shall we kill our prophets? A minor. Some say it's just a part of it. We've got to fulfill the book. The D major chord. Won't you help to sing? All right, that obviously gets you into chorus number two. It's going to be played verbatim to chorus number one. The only difference is you're going to repeat redemption songs one extra time. So, won't you help to sing? See if you can play along. These songs of freedom. Cause all I ever had. Three times now. Redemption songs. Redemption songs One more time Redemption songs And a C major and a D major gets you into the instrumental section Let's jump into that section now Okay, moving right along, we have the intro, we have the verse, we have the chorus sections down. Now we're jumping into the instrumental section. It's going to be a percussive rhythm over the chords E minor for one measure, and then a split measure of C major to D major. Real slow, it's going to sound like this, and it repeats four times. One more time, real slow, get it into your ear. So pretty simple there. Over that E minor chord, we're strumming. Down, chuck, chuck, down, chuck, chuck, down. Just covering up the strings as best I can so I can get a muted strum there. Okay, so one more time. Now, if I'd like, I can also alternate my strums, okay? But it's not really what I'm hearing in the original track. But that would sound like this. Okay, so that was down, chuck, Chuck, up, chuck, chuck, down. So, one more time at full speed. Okay, now moving on to the next measure we'd have. All right, so a dead stroke to get us started. All right, then we're gonna play up, down, up on the C major chord. So dead, up, down, up. Then move to the D major chord, down, up, down, up. Put that measure together and we have. Notice how I'm throwing in an open strum there so I can make it through the D chord in time. We put measures one and two together and we have real slow. Okay, repeat that four times through to get yourself to verse number three. That's played the exact same way as verse number two. Then finally, all we need to learn now is just how to end the song coming out of chorus number three. Okay, the final stop before we're ready to perform, taking a look at chorus number three, which is gonna have some unique twists and turns in it. But if you're taking a look at lines one and two, it's starting off the same way as the other choruses. So the D chord gets you started. Won't you help to G major? These songs of freedom, it's all familiar. It's all I ever had. The C, redemption songs. All right, then line number three is going to be repetitious. We're taking the exact same thing we just played on line two, but exchanging out the last G chord for an E minor. This is all I ever had. Damn 
redemption songs. All right, then finishing up line number four, we have the C to D to G change twice through. These songs of freedom. These songs of freedom. Okay, from there, we have one last chord progression to see us to the end of the tune. It's gonna look and sound like this. A minor. Alright, and then a quick stop to end the tune. Okay, so it was the walk down from C to C slash B. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you can get really kind of free with the strumming over A minor for two measures or eight beats. I like the strum down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Then I'm gonna put my pinky on the second fret of the high E string and play one and two and three and four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven beats all together on that A minor six chord, a very manic sounding chord. All right, and then once you've gotten to the seventh beat, a short stop to end the tune. Okay, put all that together and we have the C chord. A minor. A minor six. One and two and three and four, five, six, seven. Just like that, very good everybody. Congratulations, you're ready to perform. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this Bob Marley guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash lessons. Hope you're enjoying all these extra resources. Thanks to you guys, got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.